So you've updated the Radeon software recently, and you've realised that your fans sound a bit louder on your RX 5000 series card when you're watching YouTubers browsing the web or whatever. And you went into your performance tab in the Radeon software, and you've noticed that your fans won't go below a certain speed. So I've got here 15, but mine after doing the update was sat at 20. And you couldn't do it any lower, you couldn't drag that any further down. This bar, this wee line was at the very bottom, and you couldn't change it. So I've discovered a way to fix this. Now it is a bit in depth, and you do need to download like four different things for it, but this guide I've taken from somewhere else, and it's basically how to remove limits on an RX 5000 series card. And I'm not removing any limits on the voltage or frequency or anything like that. Instead, I'm just affecting the fans because I'm pretty happy with the card. I just want to change the fans. So what we're going to do is you will have to go to these websites. You will have to first download GPU-Z from Tech Power Up. I have the link in the description. You can look it up yourself in Google and click on the link if you don't trust me or something. You can then also go to Iger's lab and find the Red BIOS Editor article. And I'll have this linked in the description as well. So you need to download all three things here. The BIOS editor, the more power tool, and the ATI flash tool. The reason for this is it used to be just the more power tool, but then AMD did stuff, and now you have to use the flash and the BIOS editor in order to actually uh, change things with your card. So once you do that, go to Downloads folder and install them. And once you do that, you are now ready. So first you want to open up GPU-Z, which I will search for because I don't know where I've saved it to. GPU-Z. And hit yes. Now it will ask you, do you want to install it or do you uh, just want to use a standalone? I'm just using a standalone because I don't plan on using it very often, so I'm going to say not now. Because I might want to install it at a later date. So here you will see all the details about my graphics card. So mine is a, is a Sapphire RX 5700 XT Nitro Plus to be specific, I know it just says RX 5700 XC up here, but it's got all your information, so you can check down here quickly. The limit, or what I've got mine set to, is 2060 as the highest uh, frequency it'll go to. Normally it's set at 2079, but I've slightly reduced it. But that's fine, you can just check to make sure it's the same. You can look at all these other tabs, but you don't really need to. All you need to do is click on this tab here saying Save BIOS, this button even. Click on it, say Save to File and it'll bring up a window. Now here you see I've already got a Navi 10 ROM file. It will save that. That's the name of the file by default. I've already done this process, so I'm just going to put a V2 at the end. You don't need to do this, but I'm just doing it because I've, I've obviously already done this, so I'm just showing you how to do it. So hit save, and I'll say it saved it, so you can close that now. That's perfectly fine. You then need to go into the more power tool, which yet again you can search for, or if it's saved to your desktop, you can just click on it. Hit yes and then hit load. So it should go to whatever folder, so you will need to navigate to whatever folder you save this in. So mine is in my documents folder and then in PC benchmark, that's the folder I made with all my benchmark stuff. So select the file you want, which should really only be the Navi 10 file at this stage. And I've got, I'm gonna select the V2 one because that's the one I've just gotten. So if you, well, no, I'm gonna select Navi 10. So this is the one that I did at the start. So this should have all the normal fan settings and stuff. So hit open on your Navi 10 folder or file, whatever it is. So you see a bunch of settings. By default, these are all ticked for me. You can tick them all for yourself if you want to, but I'm not sure it really matters. It's just all the features that are available in the Radeon software as far as I know. You can also go to all these different places and change the limits for your frequency and your voltages and stuff. I didn't touch this. I just went over to the fan tab and I changed the minimum. So mine was set at 26 by default, and I decided, you know what, that's way too loud if I'm just watching YouTube or on my desktop playing the Xbox, something like that. So I decided to change it to 15, no 10 even. The reason for this is I know my card is perfectly fine operating at about 15%, 10%, and because that's what I had it set at before updating the Radeon software. So if you know that your card was able to operate, as in the fans in your card were able to operate reliably at a percentage below what the Radeon software now has, you can feel free to change this and knowing that it'll work perfectly fine. This isn't what it'll be set at by default, this is just lowering the limit so as you can go lower. 
So you'll still need to go into the Radeon software and change it. So once you do that, just hit save. And it'll ask you to save the file. I save mine as this, RX 5700 XT 10 fan speed. I would save it as just something simple, one word. So maybe just um, 5700 XT fan, something like that. And hit save. This should yet again save to the same folder that you loaded it from and everything like that. If it doesn't, you can just select it. You can then safely hit exit. You then want to go into the red BIOS editor and you want to select load and load in the original BIOS file that you extracted. So this was Navi 10 in my case. Whenever I was first doing it, I did the Navi 10 thing. So this was the file that I extracted. I know there's this one as well, but this is what my current BIOS is, which is the altered one, if that makes any sense. Just ignore that one and click on Navi 10. So whatever one you saved, hit open and it'll have some options. Now it should know by default which type of card yours is. Currently the options are 5700 XTX. I don't know what that means because that doesn't exist. So maybe it's just overclocking your XT. But mine's a 5700 XT. If yours is a 5700, click that. If it's a 5600 XT, click that. Just click whatever type of card your card is. You can change this if you want to. You don't really need to. I would not click on that button. Go to PowerPlay and load your MPT file, which is a more power tool file, a file that you saved. So this is the one we just saved, which is the 5700 XT fan. So realistically, it doesn't matter which one I click on here. They're the exact same because I changed the fan speed to 10 regardless. So I'm just going to click on this one because this is the one we just did. So click on your m.mpt file, hit open, and it should say successfully loaded. And then there's another VRAM timings tab. Don't touch that. You can if you know what you're doing. Then hit save. And you can then save it as a new file. So I saved mine as something. It doesn't really matter what you save it as, but try to keep it as one word. It makes things a lot easier when you're flashing it. So in this case, maybe just do Navi 10 new or something and hit save. And then you can safely exit out of that, go into your file or go into your folder where you saved everything. And you should be able to see your new file here. So it's .rom, which means that you can flash that to your uh, 5700XT or whatever card you have, and it should work perfectly fine because it's a .rom file. What you now need to do is you need to go into your C drive and you need to create a folder called flash. In this folder, you should then put in the amdvbflash.exe folder that you extracted from the flash tool that you uh, downloaded, which is in your downloads folder. So if you go into this file, obviously you extract this and everything, literally just take everything that you extracted from this download, plop it in that flash file or in the flash folder even. Also take the ROM file that you just made and put that into the flash folder as well. Just, you need to. So once you do that, you can then go into the flash folder and bring up command line. So if you just type in CMD in the file explorer thing, it'll then come up with a command line. You then need to, first off, we need to find out which adapter your card is in. Mine is in adapter zero. Yours might be in adapter one or maybe adapter two if you've got three adapters. It, we don't really know, but to be sure, type in amd vb flash space minus and then i dash then i hit enter, and it will then bring up your adapter, which is adapter zero for me, and a bunch of information you don't need to know. Then type in amd vb flash again minus p zero, which is the adapter minus f, which I'm pretty sure means to flash this file, and then type in the name of the file that you made. So mine was lurefanspeed.rom, which is the one that I made when I was first doing it. So basically the ROM that you just made, that you have the edited fan speed in, type that in. So lure fan speed dot rom and then hit enter. That will flash your BIOS, your new BIOS, to your card, and it takes, I guess, a couple of seconds, basically. You should then reboot your computer, and once you've rebooted your computer, uh, you can then follow along the rest of the video. However, before you get to that part, 
before you flash it, and I'll, I'll have a wording on screen before this section anyway, make sure that your computer definitely will not power off or lose power or anything like that during this process, because if it does, then you might brick your card. If your card does have two BIOSes, like mine, mine has a BIOS switch between like performance and quiet or something, two BIOSes basically, then you're fine because you can just switch over to the other BIOS and then you can save yourself. But uh, if you've got one BIOS, then you potentially risk just breaking your card. So just make sure it's a couple of seconds. So as long as you're not doing it in the middle of a lightning storm or something, a thunderstorm, you should be perfectly fine. So once you've done that, you can then reboot your computer, as I say, and then go to the Radeon software, which you can just right click on your desktop and hit the Radeon software if you, if you don't know how to. You should go to the Home tab. So then click on Performance, go to Tuning, and you should be met with the exact same screen you were met with beforehand. So if you, I'm assuming that you know how to tune your card. If you don't, you will be met with this screen. So you'll have to go from automatic to manual. Then you can enable all of these. And the only one really, you really have to be concerned about is your fans. So instead of saying, well, mine said 26, I was wrong about that. So instead of saying, well, it, it should still say 26. If yours is 26, it'll still say the same value. But instead of this being floored all the way to the bottom, it'll have a wee red line, which means that you can adjust it a bit. So mine now will go all the way down to 10. And you, as you can see, the line is gone now. But previously it was a 26 and it was in that exact same position. So I've changed mine to 15. I'm going to hit the scar changes because I don't actually want to change that. So I can change mine to 15 and hit apply changes and it's perfectly fine. Now if you want to save this configuration, you can then hit the three dots at the top. Hit save profile and then I've already got three profiles here. But you can click on any one of these. You can type in your name, whatever you want to do and just hit save. And then you're fine. So whenever you turn on your computer, it should load that exact same file. Uh, if it doesn't, load file, that one, and you're done. So one thing that I have noticed is if for some reason it just goes to 20 by default. Not sure why. Um, sometimes it's 20. I've put it 15. But if it does, just load the file again, and you're perfectly fine. That's it. So you can get rid of all that software if you don't need it anymore. It should be the only time you need it unless you need to do this again. But that's basically it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped you, please um, leave a like or something. And if uh, if you got stuck or you need more help, please just leave a comment in the description or in, in the description in the comment section, and I will try to respond and help you along with it. Uh, just tell me where you got stuck or something like that. Anyway, I hope you find it useful, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.